Hey, what's going on everybody? Wayne's Workshop here. And today I'm going to show you how to extract 3D models from your favorite games. In this edition, I'm going to cover Heroes of the Storm. It's pretty easy and once you have those models extracted, you can uh, load them up into something like Pepakura and you can unfold them into templates, which you can then use on your cosplay again. So let's get to it. All right, extracting Heroes of the Storm 3D models to use as templates. You can load these into something uh, like Pepakura and unfold these 3D models to serve as your templates. So you can build your prop, your whole costume, a helmet, or whatever it is you're working on. You'll need three things for that, and I'll show you here on the screen. So the first thing you'll need is CuskView, and that is a tool that opens up uh, Blizzard games and allows us to access all their files. This is pretty big in the uh, modding community for the games, uh, so they can extract skins or adapt them or whatever. Uh, but it serves as well as we want these 3D models to load up into Pepakura or something similar and unfold it um, into templates. So you'll need that. Uh, you'll need the latest version of Blender. Blender is a 3D modeling tool. It's free, it's open source, so no worries there. And for Blender, we need a plugin, and that's the Blend M3 Master. And you load this plugin into Blender, it's really easy. And this will allow you to open up the Blizzard M3 file uh, extension because that's the extension Blizzard gives to their 3D models. So these three items are all you need. So Install Blender like any other piece of software you normally would. I have it already installed. Just click next a couple of times, choose where you want to install it, and go. Then we open up Cosc View. So open that up. You'll be prompted by this screen. You'll select Open Storage and then go to where you installed Heroes of the Storm. For me, it's right there. And then you choose Heroes Data and then click OK. Now it will load up all the files and place them all in the left hand screen right here. So these are only four folders, but if you open one up, uh, it's a total maze of, of folders, but I'll show you where to go. You first click on mods, then heroes storm mod. Then you go to base storm assets, then again assets then units and then heroes and here are all the skins of every character and all the variations of heroes of the storm so for the example i'll just have to pick one let's see we'll go for the uh anna one and her uh her latest skin one thing though the plugin the m3 plugin it's kind of old Heroes of the Storm and the skins are new. Uh, sometimes the plugin for Blender doesn't want to load a skin, but I found a workaround for that. If it doesn't want to load, for example, this one, it will load the variation of it called Death Ragdoll. I don't know why. Uh, we're just going to extract both of them and we'll see which one works. You click on the folder and you'll see here the M3 format, the extension that Blizzard uses for their 3D models. And this one is, of course, for the Anna skin. Right click, extract. Now, it will always give this default folder, but you can uh, click the three dots and choose wherever you want. And then hit OK. And we're going to do the same thing with the Ragdoll version. Right click, extract. And okay, that's it for cask view. We don't need it anymore. You can close that. Then once you've installed Blender, you open Blender. You're prompted by this screen uh, to get rid of this inter screen. You can click anywhere in, in the rest of the field. Uh, Blender always loads up a startup file. We don't need this one. So right click it, hit delete and click. And also this is a light source, we don't need that, so you can delete that. And this is a viewport, delete, boom. Now it's all empty. 
Now we need to load in that uh, Blend M3 master so you can actually import that Anna skin uh, model that we just extracted into Blender. Blender by itself does not recognize M3 models. So that's where the plugin comes in. So we have to load that one first into Blender. And to do that, you go to File, User Preferences, and then hit the Add-on button, and then Install Add-on from File. And then you navigate to where you have, and then you navigate to where you have downloaded the file. And it's okay if it's, a, if it's a zip file, you can install it from that file. It will unzip it automatically and place it where it needs to go. So you select it, install add-on from file. And then in the search bar, you type in M3. This is the add-on we just install, installed. Importer and exporter for Blizzard StarCraft 2 model files, point M3. Now, this is only, not only for StarCraft, of course. This works also for Heroes. So, check the checkbox, save user settings, and you can close this window. Now, go back to File, go to Import. Now, this is by default what Blender can do. This is what we added, StarCraft 2 model M3. So select that, go to your folder where you downloaded, uh, where you extracted the uh, models you just extracted using uh, Cask View. Uh, the folder does make, uh, does create all the folders it was in. So the mods, storm assets, all that, he extracts the full extension. So wherever you extract it to, it will put those folders into place also. It's kind of annoying, but that's what the program does. So you go there, mods, heroes, storm assets, storm assets, assets, units, heroes. And there we go. Here we see the, the normal one and the death ragdoll. So we'll try this one first. Import M3. Doesn't load anything. Just as I thought, this one does not work. So and that's why we took the other one, the death ragdoll one. So we'll go to import again. Point M3. Go up one. Select Death Ragdoll, and it works. There we go. The Anna Shrike, or Shriek, however you pronounce it. She does do this pose. We do not want this pose because we need it kind of static so we can edit it more easily. And that's what this thing does right here. You can see the outline. Right now I have her model selected and right now I have this weird do that selected and this is what keeps her in this position. So if I click that one, hit delete and press delete, it removes the animation and now she is a static model. She's kind of red now and if you want to edit this more, it's easier to have kind of a plain color. So right click the model again, it'll go to the right hand screen and to this color dot here and there we see the material see all red so to change this we click on this one and just drag it to kind of whitish neutral now it's much easier to spot we can export this to a wavefront obj format we go to file export obj and then navigate to the folder where you want it, uh, where do you want to export it? And we'll do that here and then extract OBJ. It'll load some and then it's done. Now, if we were to open Pepakura, get where we extracted it. I extracted it as untitled, but you could give it every name, of course, that you want it. And we load it in and there we go. No flip, finish, okay. There we have the whole model. And now from here, you can unfold it and then <clears throat> you can start cutting it up into workable templates. Now, to have this whole model in there is kind of a mess. It would be easier to split some of this, like uh, separate the gun from the rest of the body or just the arm, take that off the body, because uh, it will provide you with well, more of a separation and not 
so big of a file to load at once into Papakura, so you can kind of spread your work around. This does involve that you have to um, edit this model into Blender. Now I can show you some really basic stuff, it's not all that hard. Uh, we're just going to separate the gun from the rest of the model, so we just have the, this sniper rifle uh, in Papakura. So we close Papakura, don't save, we'll go back. Here you see it's all selected, this is all one part. So just in case it's not selected, right click the whole model, go down here, it says object mode. If you click that, you select edit mode. Now it becomes this whole wiry frame mesh kind of thing. Now we can start separating stuff. We go down here, we select the face select. Now everything gets a nice little dot. And we'll zoom to the gun. If you want to move the model around like this, you hold the middle mouse button. If you want to change orientation, you hold shift and move it with the middle mouse button. So you now we're going to focus around the gun. Now, I want only this gun. I want to separate this gun from the rest of the body. So I right click this little face right here and I hit L. Now he selected everything that was connected to the part I just clicked but we want the rest of the gun also so we have to manually do what I just did for this piece for the rest. So you hold down shift, right click one of these faces again, let go of everything and hit L. Now we have the barrel. Hold shift, Right click, press L, now I got the end of the barrel. Hold shift, right click, L. Hold shift, right click, L. And you keep doing this for the whole gun. Sometimes it's easier because everything is connected, sometimes it's not, for example with this gun, but it won't take that much of your time, we're almost done. Go. Let's check the other side. Oh, there we missed the spot. Right click, L, hold shift, click, L. There we go. Now we got this whole gun selected. Yeah. Then you hit P and click selection. See? Now it's separated from the rest of the body because we're still in edit mode and we can still edit this but we cannot we cannot influence this one to do that you go clicking on edit mode we're going back to object mode and now we can differentiate between these two see right click the sniper rifle it has the yellow outline right click the body now it's this one selected so to separate the sniper rifle we right click the sniper rifle Hold Ctrl and C, so we copy it. We open another iteration of Blender and just remove all this stuff again. Ctrl V, now we have just a gun in here. And now we're gonna just go to File, Export, OBJ, go back to the folder where we want it extracted. We say Sniper Rifle, Export OBJ. Go back and drag that into Pepakura, and there we have it, just the sniper rifle. Hit unfold, and you can get to work on unfolding your model. Now, if you don't know how to unfold your 3D models, not to worry. I will cover that in my next video. This is just to show you how you can extract so if you have problems uh, drawing templates uh, like me, <laughs> then this works perfectly for you. And especially now with Heroes of the Storm also implementing a lot of new uh, Overwatch heroes, they have these unique skins of Overwatch, uh, unique to Heroes of the Storm, so you can't get those even from Overwatch. So this is a really helpful tool to do that with. So. Try it out, it's uh, super easy. Next video, I will cover how to unfold this into workable templates that you can print out on your regular old printer 
and then cut those and then you have your blueprint slash template to draw out on your foam and then glue it back together and then you got yourself a nice uh, space gun or whatever. So I hope you found this video useful. Try it out. I will provide a link with Blender, uh, CaskQ and that plugin in the description below will lead to my Dropbox. Try this out. Leave something down below in the comments to see if it worked. If you need some help, you can pose your questions there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button if you want to get notified. And I'll see you next week for Peppakura Unfolding 101. And I'll see you there. Man, dude. Wow. Yeah, you're on camera. Mm hmm? Hello. Hello. Nigga. Moron. It's catnip. It goes crazy.